Hi, my name's Corey. Thank you for joining us for another one of Family Marine's videos. Today we're on a Barletta Luso class pontoon, and we're going to go over the, the initial setup of the Hertz Audison stereo system that is found in both the Luso and the Corsa level boats. So if you have a Corsa or a Luso, this video will apply to both. So today we're going to show you how this stereo comes from the factory and some of the initial setup that we do so you'll know where to go in and change some of those things or if for some reason maybe we skipped or something got overlooked uh, you can look here to see where to go to set things up. So when you first turn the radio on it's just going to come to you know the FM 87.5 and the first thing that we want to do is actually set this radio so that it knows it's in North America, uh, not Europe. To do that, you hit this little triple uh, line button right here, and the first section says AM, FM, radio region. Push the button, push the dial, and then just turn the knob to American and push the dial again, and now it knows that we're in North America, so that the tuning frequencies are correct for what we want to use here. The next thing you'll probably want to do is actually find a station that comes in in your area. So to do that, just use these buttons. They're on a scan initially, so if you push and hold that, it'll go to the first uh, station that comes in. In this case, it's 90.9, and you hit it again, just push it. You can go to a different one. I'm going to go a couple in here to get out of the public radio stations. So here's a local country station, so now we know the radio works. But if we turn it up a little bit, you know, it's kind of tinny, and right now it's not really using the, the, the amp very much or the subwoofer. We can turn the radio up. You know, it's doing both zones at a time, but it, it's, it's kind of tinny sounding. So the first thing that we want to do is push and hold this same button that you pushed before, and you're going to get a little bit different menu that comes up, and you scroll, scroll through that stuff uh, using the dial. But what we're going to do is, by a zone 1 and zone 2, so one zone is inside the boat, and the second zone is the speakers out the back of the lounge. Um, if we push the dial on zone one, we can, and then our first section there is equalizer, EQ, push it again, we can select different preset equalizers that will automatically adjust the bass and treble. So let's, in this case, push rock. Okay, now it went and it kind of set uh, the bass, mid and treble based on what rock and roll music you know usually sounds good it's always going to go back to the screen if you don't touch anything for about five seconds or so so we're going to hit that again go back into zone one and then we're going to see here that it, for tone now it'll show us where you know the bass is plus two the treble is plus two the balance is zero that was set by choosing rock go back in there zone one this is huge loudness we're going to turn that on and the radio just got a much more full sound uh, much deeper uh, you always want to make sure loudness is turned on frankly this stereo system in this boat is is good enough that you may not notice the loudness is turned off uh, when you turn when it's not turned on it's about the same as the the bass radio that's in an Aria, uh, which is still a pretty good system, but this is super high fidelity, and with that loudness on, you just really get that nice, full, uh, crisp sound. So we're going to go back in there, zone one. So we get our equalizer, we got our tone, we got our loudness turned on. Uh, you can rename the zone if you want to. You know, to, let's put, call it cockpit. Now we know, and if we uh, that. And then we, if we just push the button, it'll go back to the, the menu. So now we know that this is inside the boat. Uh, you can set max volume limits and subwoofer bypass. That's always going to be on uh, 120, and that's kind of where you, you want to leave it. Um, 
but now let's go do that same stuff for zone two. So to you know to go back a little further, I hit the button again, and I'm going to go to audio zone two, push the dial. We want to turn our equalizer to rock so it matches zone one. Push the button, uh, go to loudness, turn that on. These are the speakers out the back of the boat now, remember, on the lounge. Um, let's say we want to rename this zone. We scroll down to zone rename, and let's call this one... Um, we could call it stern, so we know it's the rear of the boat. And now, when we're, when we're in here, uh, we have audio cockpit and audio stern. Instead of zone one, zone two, now you actually know where those are at. Um, low battery alert, you can turn that on and off. We l like to have that on, so it tells you on the radio if the battery's getting low. The beep, you can turn on or off, that's up to you. Uh, startup volume. Maybe you don't want this thing cranking when you first turn it on, but you do want it loud enough to know. So it comes defaulted at 10, and uh, 10 is, whoops, 10 is a pretty good spot for the startup volume. It's not gonna blow people out of their seats uh, right away when the radio comes on, but it's loud enough so that you do know it's on. So that kind of gets your, your sound where you want it to be. The, the first thing in here is display. If you notice, there's different colors on these buttons and around this dial. And right now, um, if you go to buttons backlight and push the dial, you can set those to whatever color you want. But if it's on auto where it is right now, it's gonna automatically change these colors about every 10, 20 seconds, you can kind of see those colors fading, fading in and out. But, you know, let's say you don't like that. You know, some people do, some people don't. So we hold that button. Yeah, we go into display. We scroll down to buttons backlight. And let's say we just want to set that at blue. Now all these buttons and around the dial are blue and they're going to stay blue. But you, you can change those to whatever you want. Okay, so that covers the initial setup of the stereo system. Now I'm going to go over how to turn the volume up and down on the whole boat or if you want to do it zone by zone and then also how to turn the subwoofer up and down separately from the other speakers in the boat. So on the bottom you have this, bottom left there's this button on it that says zones. And if you just push that, you go into your cockpit zone, uh, zone two is stern, and the bottom one is sub. Well if I just turn the volume up and down right now, it's going to turn zone one and two up equally, okay? But maybe I don't want the sound that loud out the back because it's a nice quiet night or maybe I want the sound louder out the back because we got somebody uh, let's say wakeboarding back there but we don't want to be blasting the people inside the boat out of their seats with the stereo so again if I just hit the dial and turn it up it's going to turn all the speakers up in you know in the boat the same and you can see on that graph they're both zone one and zone two are going but if I hit the zone button now I'm on just zone one I'm going to turn the inside of the boat up separately from the rear. If I push this, whoops, if I push the zone button and then push the zone button again, it will go to zone two. Now I'm just turning up the rear of the boat out the back. Okay. And if I hit zone again, now I'm just turning up the subwoofer. So the speakers aren't getting louder, but you can really at least here in the boat you can feel that subwoofer thumping when it's all the way up on 10. That always kind of starts uh, default at zero from the factory and um, I mean 10 to 10 is a lot you know you get to four or five you'll you'll find what you like. Um, but if you hit the zone again now it goes to both you know and you can you know, turn them both up. Let's say you always maybe you always want the cockpit a little bit louder. Well if I go in there and turn the cockpit up more than the more than the stern 
and I let it go back. Now it's always going to maintain that ratio. Uh, so you can kind of, you know, do some different things there on the on the zone settings. But I like to start with them at least uh, equal. That way, you kind of you know where you're at. Okay, so that covers uh, the initial setup and how to change volume separately on the different zones of the boat and or the subwoofer. But let's say you want to change the radio station. How do you do that? You know, there's not that many buttons on this, on this uh, face panel. And we don't get that many stations inside our steel building here uh, where our showroom is. But just so you know, these two buttons on the, on the outside, the arrows, are basically a scan. So if I push and hold that, or a seek, it's going to go to the next station, you know, that, that comes in. So let's say you know there's a station that exists, but the, the seek function isn't finding it. Uh, you want to manually tune to it. You push this middle button, and then it will say manual tune up there. Then you just use the buttons, you know, to go, uh, you know, one, one at a time. So I'm going to go up to 102.5 because I know that comes in very well inside our showroom. And now, what if I want to save that to a preset? Up here it always says long press knob to save. So if I long press the knob, now I can scroll over to, I want to put this as preset 2 and I long press the knob again, and now I've got that in there as preset number two. I have 94.1 as preset number one. Well, to go between your presets, just simply push the arrows. Don't hold them, just push them, and it'll go to your presets. And that's how to find a station on the radio. So that's just a quick video on how to do initial setup and some of the basic uh, settings inside the Hertz Odyssey stereo system on a Barletta Lusso or Corsa model. Uh, if you have any questions after watching this video, free feel to give us a call at Family Marine, either Tom or Corey. You can find us on the web at www.familymarineboats.com or our phone number is 320-222-BOAT. That's 320 2628. Uh, you can always check out our YouTube channel, which may be where you found this video, but there we've got over 100 uh, different videos on the boats and uh, different segments of the boats and those kinds of things. So with that, thank you very much for watching.